Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Pokemon Platinum stuff. Yeah, in this part, we're just uh, gonna finish up this uh, or this place. I forget where it is. Oh, Route 228. Yeah, this boring ass route. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, I moved down here. Like, I might not remember, but I moved closer down here to uh, fight this trainer. Uh, because this lady uh, has ground type Pokemon, including that Sand Slash. And uh, this, believe it or not, gave me problems. I'd like re re report it like three times. And yep, here is a Clay Doll. So, um, what I, what I noticed is if, based on my memory of Pokemon, uh, in the Hoenn games, the pattern on Clay Doll's body. The little circle with the end sticking out, and there's like a little circle in the middle of Claydol circle thing. It is the same pattern as the Dynamo badge in the Hoenn region. Yeah, that's a fun fact for today. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, here is a Gastrodon. And I just cannot wait to get out of here. This sandstorm is pissing me off. And the fact that you all have to tech is just like, seriously, like, it's pissing me off. But this Gastrodon should not die. I don't know why you guys do not die. But yeah, this Gastrodon should give Predator the, uh, the energy to level up to level 85. Which I was right. And that takes care of her. And uh, the final trainer of this place, about time, is this guy that just magically pops out of the sand, like, hoo ha! And, yeah. And as always, he has a Tyrogue. But this time he doesn't have a, uh, an evolution of, of Tyrogue itself, it's just a Tyrogue. So just because I'm just gonna throw a poison jab in the face, despite being like 31 levels higher, uh, that's the result of being of like doing a solo run. You're gonna end up being like 40 levels higher than everyone else, and you have a Makuhita, which we haven't actually seen yet. And while this guy just fails, like normally I would say what the hell to endure, but in this sense. In this case, since uh, we're in a sandstorm, and on top of that it got a pointless poison, it will just die by the sandstorm, so yeah, he just made a fail move. That was actually an epic fail, but whatever. And he has a Machamp. And, uh, yeah, this thing dies. I'm surprised not one Monchamp has, like, lived a poison job in Predators. I'm like, that actually surprises me, because Monchamps are pretty bulky. But, yeah, finally we're out of that, that place that I hate. And, uh, we're on Route 226, but, uh, not for long. Because as soon as Predator's fully healed up with the magic of soda. Uh, we won't be, we're not gonna be on Route 226 that much longer because we're going progressing north to Route 227. And, uh, of course we have the bike things. Now we have this guy right here. There are trainers up here, obviously. And, uh, sadly he has a Tauros. At a level 61. And on top of that, we get an Intimidate, which is just. Fuck. So I'm gonna s switch out to the last slave that's actually alive, which is Weasel. And, uh, oh my, it doesn't go for attack. But I get the Swagger, which sucks.
And I'm, I'm going to laugh if I, get, if I actually attack this thing, but I, I won't, so... But of course, you have his in headbutt, and that's a huge threat to survivors. I'm actually kind of scared of this thing now. And of course you go straight for the head, the Zen headbutt. And, and I freaking flinch, what the hell? And now I get Swagger, this is just great. So, okay, we're at plus two attack, and one confusion is just gonna own us. Oh boy, this isn't good. Look up, holy freaking crap, that did more than Zen headbutt did. Home Holy freaking mother load. So just use the four store to get rid of that confusion as well, because God knows I don't need that. And you go for another Zen headbutt. This is just what what the hell? Please don't flinch. Oh wait, you can't flinch. Another swagger. What? Oh my god, this is just... <sighs> I'm getting bored, I don't want to do this. Okay, I'm gonna hit myself. And oh my god, what the hell, where did that come from? What the freaking hell? I went from like 167 to 17 in an instant. Like, what the hell just happened? Doesn't the full sort of cure confusion too? Okay, cool, you missed it in headbutt. Oh great, another swagger. Well like, in the case that swagger doesn't freaking uh or four stores don't cure confusion, I'm basically at plus six attack right now. But if I am not if not, I'm still at plus two. And I know for a fact this thing's gonna die by one poison job. So thank God Predator didn't hit himself again. And wow, that, that trainer just took like three minutes of my time. Just thank you so much. These stupid trainers are the reason why the time went so long on my videos now. Or just, just on these videos. Because these damn trainers, they just don't freaking give up. Just goes to show that this place doesn't freaking mess around with you. But of course the skip loon is obviously gonna die, because like it's a skip loon, it's not gonna live anything. And that's a lop honey. Or a low honey, whatever. It's a, it's a rabbit that has the whole thing going on. The Paris Hilton look. Except not really. But go it just dies right there, so really who cares? That's probably the last time we're ever going to see a Lapani anyway, so, like, I really give a crap. Anyway, annoying that failure of mine. So, Wake is over here with our rival, of course. The rival, you know, Diamond just wants to be Wake's little so called apprentice. Quotes. In apprentice, yeah. And like he says, the wild Pokemon here are freaking tough as hell, so... Yeah, this place is really not a joke. Even in the solo run, it's not a joke, because it's freaking hell. That Tauros gave me freaking problems, like, holy crap. That thing must be on freaking steroids, but whatever. Luckily, we don't have to go back to no damn Pokemon Center. Because this lady right here just heals you up. And she offers to heal, heal you up again, which is totally unnecessary. It kind of gives you that scared of Pokemon feeling, but yeah. Anyway, now we can just progress onwards. And uh, we have a trainer over there, but we have to cross this path. And oh, looky here, it's Buck. We saw him in the fight area before. And you're forced to patrol Stark Mountain with him, and that leaves me hear rumors about spacesuit guys go up there. But well, gee, what could this mean? Space, it's totally not a uh, nothing important, but yeah. Okay, here's a yellow shard, 
And way up here is a star piece. So yeah, even this far in a game, you're still looking, you're still finding shards. So that's kind of cool in a way, but not really. But we can rock climb down here, and for some reason there's two ponds here. That don't that doesn't make sense at all. And there's a charcoal. So this far in a game, you finally find an item that increases your fire type attacks. So that just goes. That just proves right there that this this region is just so freaking scarce on fire types. And you freaking go over here, get off the bike, go over here and get this zinc apparently. And fight this trainer now, I guess. I just have to make sure or check this predator, see how much experience he needs. He's like. 30,000 or something. That doesn't really surprise me, to be honest. But hey, it doesn't matter. Oh my, a survivor. Oh, a female survivor. That. Well then. This isn't, uh. I didn't expect this to happen. I don't remember this trainer having a survivor, but. Awkward moment here. Okay, not so much anymore. And you have an absolute. So wait, you're just like on the whole. So far, you have like my like two of my favorite Pokemon's from Hoenn. Gee, what? I'm talking about Hoenn a lot in this episode, aren't I? It's just like I mentioned Hoenn like five times already. Okay, Persian. Okay, that's not one of my favorite Pokemon at all. Hey, fake out. Eh, who cares? I'm still gonna kill you. I'm just glad we're not in that sandstorm area anymore. That that place just seriously annoys the crap out of me. Like just the whole every other t every other turn, or actually every turn, is just the sandstorm continues to rage or something like that. It just it gets annoying after all. It's the same thing with rain. Rain continues to fall. Hail is falling, you thought that yeah, you know what I mean. The sun is bright with sunny day and all. It's just it, it, it gets so annoying, it's just so it's like stupid. But uh thank god in black and white they changed it with the whole weather indicator on the bottom screen. And where it doesn't pop like you know show up every uh, every other turn. Oh, sandstorm continues to rage. It's just we get it. <laughs> but enough of that annoying stuff. What's with these Pokemon just going with priority moves? I mean, that makes sense, but still. And I should've went for Flamethrower, because, yeah, I forgot Breelings can have effects for. That's one of the two abilities it can have. And fourth generation, that is. And, uh, okay, Detect. I don't really need this today. I'm just hoping I'm gonna get paralysis. Or at least that paralysis gets cured on its own. But, uh, this raid's not gonna happen. Okay, don't go for three. You know, I've seen three detects happen in a row, and seriously, that just. Okay, one's okay. Actually, one's annoying alone. Two is just like, okay, stop it. And then three is like, okay, I'm gonna freaking kill you. Kill you and your future children if you don't knock it off the damn detect. It just seriously pisses me off. And what I don't understand is, it's stairs and rock climb. I don't get that. They both go in the same place. I think the rock climbing area is just pointless in my opinion. But, whatever. I'm not gonna deal with the, um... the paralyzed and stuff. Oh my god, you have a Dragonite. Why? Why must you have this? Okay, well, I, I kind of knew the poison jab would kill it. Okay, it's understandable. But the Dragon Dance is alrighty. This is... It would make sense if you would go for the attack, but you went for Safeguard, which is... No, go for it. I'll just kill you. So, bye bye. So, Viper just killed a freaking Uber Pokemon, which I feel so proud of. But, uh, yeah. I think that's the last trainer on this place, to be honest. 
Yeah, Route 227, it, it's not the most challenging route in the world. But, um... There are not that many trainers, but most of them can be a challenge. Like, that Tauros was freaking annoying as hell. And, yeah, that, that was basically the only problem I had recording this. I just had to get past that Tauros, and I was like, yeah, whatever. So, now we're on Stark Mountain. And here's a Max Elixir. And go over here, there's a cave. And what the fuck? Why are you guys back? And, uh, I thought I defeated you all, but apparently I didn't, so I gotta redo it again. So, I guess, I don't know. Stark Mountain Eruption Zone, even though that never happens. Alright, so, everyone, I will, um, see you next time for going into Stark Mountain, and that will conclude the post-game content, almost. But yeah, I'll see you guys next episode.